Number 53, a key falls from a bridge that is 45 meters above the water. It falls directly into a model boat moving with constant velocity that is 12 meters from the point of impact when the key is released. What is the speed of the boat? So what's happening here? We have a, a bridge. Okay, this is our bridge over here. And then we have a key that falls. Okay, so the key it's falling. And then we have a boat over here. And the boat travels 12 meters uh, when the, the, the key starts falling to when it hits the, the boat. So this is the boat over here. And we want to know the speed of the boat. That's what we want to know. It's pretty simple, this exercise. We will only calculate delta t. That is the time it, it takes for the key to reach the water. And then we will use, since the speed of the boat is constant, we will use that v equals to delta x over delta t. And that's it. We, we will know this is delta x. And this is delta t and we will find the speed of the boat. So all we have to do is to calculate the time it, it took to the key to fall to the water. And we will do that by using x equals to x0 plus v0t plus at squared over 2. So let's say that upwards is positive, so downwards, downwards is negative. Let's say that at this point it is 45 meters. This is XO. And the boat or the, the water, it's the final position, which is 0 meters. Just don't make confusion about this part of the exercise and this part over here. This is, this is a different delta X which is because it's 12 meters. This is in the Y and this is in the X direction. So it's maybe it's better if I just call it Y, right? So this is it's y and y o. This is y o and this is y. Okay, so we need to find out t over here, and we know that the initial velocity of the key is zero. We know that the final position of the key is zero as well. So zero equal to y o plus a t squared over two. So minus y o times 2 over a squared square root root equals to t so t is equal to the square root of minus 45 times 2 over minus 9.8 and then we find that this is roughly 3.03 seconds so this is delta t and then we can just use it over there. So the speed of the boat is equal to delta x, which is 12 over 3.03. .03, and this is roughly 4 meters per second. So this is the answer of this exercise over here.